okay? No, it's short. Well, yeah, it's, I mean, it's a, it's a, I don't know what the distance is, but yeah, it's just a bit thin, again. Better. The more authoritative strike. Good shot. What would you, so if I had a magic wand that could improve you, well, swing-wise, not talking about chipping and putting, what would you, would it be a better, higher ball flight, more distance, different shape or whatever? More distance, uh, getting a longer backswing consistency. Okay. Just make a backswing then and stop. Okay. Okay, come back again. Right, you're going to hit this ball. Okay, so which was the longest swing, the practice swing or the real swing? Practice. By a mile, wasn't it? Well. Right. <laughs> it needs a dummy, doesn't it? <laughs> right, so what I'm saying is, yeah. it's not a physical thing. Yeah. You know, because say, yeah, it's a, yeah. So, if I, if you were, do you practice, the, or get the opportunity, what I would say for you, is you want to get to the practice ground, get to the top, wherever you want to be, say, right, I'm going to be here, hold it, hit it. Next ball, hold it, get there, Get there, stretch, hit it. Because if you don't, that swing is going to get, you don't know it, you, we can observe it, it's going to get shorter and shorter. Even though you're going, well, I can, I'm doing that. But I'm, so you've got to do it. So I'm going to give you this as a, as a test here. So you're going to get to the top of the backswing. We're going to accept a rubbish shot. I'm going to accept that. Okay. And when you get to the top, they're going to say you can swing down. You're not allowed to swing down until they say go. Okay, so it's not me, it's their fault, right? right. So you, you address it, get to the... <laughs> yeah. Don't so far I can swing back. Right, go to the top and stop and wait for them to go hit it. Hit it. Right, okay. Right, the point with it is, yes, it's going to be rubbish, I understand that. But what, I'm, and what I would do with that in, in terms of a coaching, I'd put it on a tee peg and get yourself because if you did that once a week your swing would get start to get longer mm. and i know you want it longer and i agree with you because it, it means you can get more club head speed and yeah. with that more distance but when the ball's there in real time your swing at the moment is probably stopping about there you wouldn't but you know but because every practice swing it stops about there so it's doable physically it's just mentally not capable because and part of it is a bit of anxiety and inconsistency but that's what i would do yeah. okay Down. practice swing stop hit, take as long as you want.